Hi, I'm Sebastian from the Bembelbot team. Uh, we're from Frankfurt. Um, we're named after the Bembel, uh, the traditional uh, container from which to serve Abelvoy, which was very fam famous in the south of Hesse. Over the last couple of weeks, we've mostly worked on a referee gesture detection. So at the start of the game, the referee um, raises his hands uh, to show the robots that they are allowed to walk in, which they only get told over Wi-Fi half a minute later. Uh, so you need to see when he does this. And um, our robots now look at the referee and try to work out if he has his hands raised, and if he does, they walk into the field. So the referees uh, today are from uh, from Run Swift and Robo Irene. Run Swift is from um, from Australia, and Robo Irene from uh, Ireland. And now. The Bamblebots have kick off. The ball is now free, so both robots, uh, ro both teams can uh, touch the ball. And now the HWK robot is walking on to the goal from the Bamblebots without any resistance um, of the <laughs> of the Bamblebots. Now with an empty goal, good good chance to score a goal. He is uh, he's dribbling it into the goal and yeah, nice. So, first goal for the HTWK robots. So now all the robots need to need to walk back into their own half. No, they, they, they don't walk into our own half. It's just because a new rule we have uh, this year. It's called the indirect, uh, indirect kick rule. Um, that means that um, both teams need to, need to touch the ball before fin uh, for, uh, scoring a goal. And this is uh, because we want to ensure that the teams um, uh, uh, pass the, the, the ball uh, to each other. And in this case, the HW robots, only one robot um, has, touched, uh, has touched the ball. And now we have a bit of a chaos on the field. Many robots have fallen. We have a big crowd of, of uh, metal robots here uh, falling and standing up again. But the, uh, the HWK robots are trying their best. And the ball is out, and now, now uh, there's a go kick for the gray team from the HTWK uh, robots. So. Now, pick up, pick up blue three. Now the Bamblebots have uh, have the ball and try to defend. HWK robots are famous for their dribbling skills, so uh, maybe uh, we see now one of the one uh, 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 legal goal. Um, both both robots um, touch the. Touch the ball, the four and the two from HWK robots. So this should be a legal, um, legal uh, goal. But uh, the HWK robots are not seeing the ball. It looks strange. It's like a lot of chaos there. Now, oh, now they kick in the last second. Yeah, and after all this time, there's uh, finally the goal for the HWK robots. So now the HWK robots are only playing with five robots, and one of them is now out because uh, of illegal position. The robot um, needs to get back in their own half, and the four didn't make it. So now kicker for the Frankfurt team, uh, the Bamblebots. So ball is free. And it's, uh, it's like both teams have a very hard time to stay on their feet. 
and falling a lot here in this game. Normally the robots are not falling that often. But uh, now we see the five is the only robot touched uh, the ball. So um, uh, if the five is now heading for the goal, it's not a valid or legal goal. So the goal kick is now complete. And now two robots of the HWK need to touch the ball to score a goal. So when the, now the five is uh, heading for the goal, it's an illegal goal until the another robot is touching him. So it's an invalid or illegal goal. And we are back to the situation that uh, the Bama bots now have. Um, now have the ball to kick in. Ah. <laughs> so now the Bamabots had some some hardware issues and some robots are falling down and get up again. So there oh, the referee is like um it's like having uh, uh, some some weird decisions. Uh, HWK robots are a bit so. Uh, okay. Okay. This um, this should this should be a goal. The referee is is uh, seeing it a bit a bit different. Okay. Now emotion sitting up on the on the HWK side, it should be a legal goal, but the referee is, um, is like uh, saying it's an illegal goal. Um, yeah, last, last, last uh, word um, has the referee. So now it's, now it's, um, now it was an illegal goal. Um, so ball is now free, but the seven can't go a goal on their own, so this is also, this is now a really legal goal. <laughs> so, 2.40 um, on the clock. And we are seeing a very strange game here, uh, with a lot of phone robots, a lot of hardware issues, a lot of uh, rules happening. <laughs> So, goal kick is done now. The HWK robots may have a chance if they both robots touch the ball. So now two robots touch the ball. Now the HWK robots can score a goal if they see the ball. But it looks like um, it's, a, it's a hard time. The two robots are blocking the vision of each other. Now. So now the seven, now not the four, has the ball and can score a goal. And it's right before the goal line. Now the four is trying to get around the bamboo board. I ah, having a hard time, but there is the chance that the one defending uh, Bambabot is not on the right way and this is the second uh, goal for the uh, HWK robots. So the, the four need to get back out of the center circle. But, position. But, but there is like... Um, the four was in an illegal position. But the uh, uh, referee didn't see uh, the legal position. Um, good for us, good for the HWK robots, but now the, um, the Bamblebots are on the ball trying to kick the ball and this is the, this is the half time. So Stefan, there was a lot of indirect kick rule happening. Um, why is this uh, rule into the, into the rule set of the robot football? It's not in the human football. 
So in the robots football rules, we have introduced this additional rule that is not in human soccer because we want to force teams to um, exhibit more complicated behavior. We want to sh we want the robot teams to show that they are able to pass the ball to to perform more complex team play maneuvers. And to encourage this behavior, the rules were slightly changed to penalize the teams that are working with a way simpler robot strategy. Thank you very much. Uh, that's legal to stand in the, in the center circuit for the, for the starting team. Now, you see a good kicker. Um, ball, is, ball is free. And now the HWK robots. The second robot um, has touched a ball, so now the HWK robots can play the ball into the goal of the Bamble Bots. Now the six and the four are now looks like not that well coordinated um, and blocking each other, but now the four is on the run on the opponent's goal. And it looks like the four is uh, finding a good way. Seven supporting um, supporting um, the striker of the blue team. Now open field for the ATWK robots here in blue. Only the oh, uh, good good defense from the from the defender here. The the goalkeeper is, is out uh, due to leaving the field and the robot um, is leaving the field. So, so the great team, the Bamabots now have um, the uh, free kick uh, kick in. So um, this is not good for the HWK robots. Um, yeah. Um, this is not good for the HWK robots because now they need to touch the goal, uh, the ball twice to score uh, to score a goal. And only the seven here is um, near the ball, but um, seven is attacking, and the three Bamblebots are trying to clear their own goal area. So. Now the second uh, robot, um, the six, uh, it does need to, need to touch the uh, ball. But the <laughs> Bumblebots are uh, now having the ball uh, between there, Ref and the uh, referee needs to free the ball. So now it should be an illegal goal if the seven is scored a goal, but the uh, so now the true challenge for HWK robots is that the second robot is touching the ball, but uh, the second robot, the six, is not really interested in touching touching the ball yet. Um, but now the goalie tries to shoot, and it's very good. So now the the path to the goal is clear. HWK robots can score, but there is like a technical issue with one of the blue robots lying there. So blue six um, is now back at the hands of the team members, the human team members. But like, it's uh, really hard here. Um, the, one of the Bamabots is holding the ball. That's uh, of course not not uh, legal. Free the ball. Yes. Okay. Now the ball is free again. So and the seven fighting to stand on their feet and trying to find a way through the falling robots here. So. And the seven is not seeing the ball do blocking with the own shoulder, but now the seven is back on track to the goal. Maybe we see the third goal, the HWK robots. After all this time, it is it's <laughs> directly at the goal, goal post. Now 
the 7F, the hole and ah, uh, against the goalie, goalie is right, working really hard to block. Oh, now goalie has successfully defended um, the attack of the of the HWK robots, but now now D4 is trying very hard, and we hope that um, the go the ball is not going out because then this uh, weird um, indirect kick roll is um, happening again. So, but now everything is clear. The four can score a goal, and the goalie is now out of the way. And the four, yeah, very good. Scott scored a goal finally after a very long time of fighting against uh, falling robots, against the indirect kick roll, and against their own feet. Two seconds to leave the center circle it is not happening, so the seven should um, get an illegal position. This uh, this time the right call. And now um, we have um, uh, three players of the HWK robots against um, now four players of the Bemelbots. And Bemelbots have, of course, uh, the, the, the kick in. So. HWK robots are not that well positioned for defense and falling a lot here so but uh, hwk robots got uh, one robot the seven the seven the good striker back and the seven is now defending the half of the hwk robots looks like looks like he tries to triple um now the 95 is um, at the ball and fighting um, against the five from the from the Bamblebots. Um, with here the support of the seven from the Bamblebots, uh, he got uh, got the path cleared, and now the Bamblebots um, again in the attack, but not um, not getting back on their feet fast enough, so that the uh, that the uh, HWK robots are back um, in the Bamblebots half and now with a sharp attack from from the seven but the oh, uh, can the can the seven from the HWK robots get through these two robots L doesn't look like he can get back on their feet again the robot is trying to, and this is enough for um, the five, uh, enough confusion for the five to, uh, to score the goal, use the, use the open spots. Um, so now we are in set, uh, the, the robots um, have their kicker, the Denvots have kicker, but um, I guess in the remaining 50 seconds there is now no real hope for the Ramblebots to score at least uh, one goal. But maybe a surprise shot. Ramblebots have a pretty solid shot, but didn't see the shot here now. So the uh, defender of the HWK Robots has now only 30 seconds to defend. And let's see uh, the HWK Robots here doing a good job um, defending. Uh, their own half and yeah let's see the last last 10 seconds on the clock and there are some good defending here okay there's like the referee is now calling an extra time and uh, and okay but didn't really make it so yeah it was, uh, it was a good game from the HWK Robots and also some very impressive defense from the Bamblebots. At the end we saw a pretty, uh, pretty solid game but also some, some weird um, decisions happening and also some uh, a lot falling robots and 
Yeah, see you again in the uh, in the other games here at the Robocup in Eindhoven.